Today I figure I'd give you guys a ranking of the Rocky franchise from worst to best. This is an amazing franchise that came out in 1976 and is still ongoing to this day. It's, it's the movie that puts Stallone on the map and it's one of my favorite franchises of all time. And the first Rocky is probably one of my favorite movies of all time. This is a great franchise, one that I'll always love, and I'm looking forward to Creed 3 this December. Even though Stallone is not going to be in that one, I still look forward to watching that movie. I'm a huge fan of this franchise, and literally have the VHSs, the Blu-rays, I even own most of the films on DVD as well. I'm also a huge fan of the video games as well. And I think this is a great franchise that just doesn't quit. Honestly, I hope that, you know, the third Creed film will be great. And I'm so looking forward to seeing more out of this franchise to come. But without further ado, I figure I'd give you guys my ranking from worst to best. Coming in, at number eight, is 1990s. Rocky 5. Rocky 5 is what happens when you try to do something new, but it doesn't succeed. Look at Stallone there. Look at his face. Yo, Adrian. This is actually, in my opinion, a good film. I don't know how it's a powerhouse 10 American movie classics. Susan, you're wrong for that. But it is an enjoyable film. I like this movie. I do actually think it actually has a lot going for it, but it is the worst of the franchise. This film sees Rocky losing his money to his, I guess, financial advisor, having bad real estate deals. That really makes no sense because the land would still be worth some money. But for illogical reasons, Rocky's broke this time around. And he trains a new fighter named Tommy Gunn, played by Tommy Morrison, a real-life boxer. And, well, he gets betrayed and they have a street fight at the end. That's basically the movie. And his family's mad at him for 90 minutes. It's not a bad movie. I do enjoy it for what it is. But this is definitely the weakest of the series. But I wouldn't say skip it. I do enjoy Rocky V. This leads me to number 7. 2015's Creed. This film sees Rocky training a young fighter to become heavyweight champion of the world. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? It's essentially the plot of Rocky V, but done well. This time the fighter is Apollo Creed's illegitimate son, Adonis. He must but more or less take up the mantle of his father and try to become the heavyweight champion of the world. While dealing with relationship issues, pretty much anything you've seen in a Rocky movie, Adonis goes through here. Which is part of the reason why I will play this movie lower than most of the rest. It's essentially Rocky V done right. But it also has a lot of the cliches of the series at this point. The Rocky franchise has more or less a formula that it follows, and this film does the same. It's not bad because of that, but it's pretty predictable. There's really no surprises in this film. It's still an enjoyable film, and I do like it, but a bit unoriginal even for this franchise. This leads me to number six, 2006's Rocky Balboa. This was a really welcome film after the lackluster response of Rocky V. Stallone essentially brought the franchise back after a 16-year hiatus, this time showing the boxer taking on the heavyweight champ of the world in an exhibition match to prove that he still got it. Stallone was 59 going on 60 when they filmed this movie. I think he actually turned 60 while they were filming the movie. And more or less, it's about Rocky stepping into the ring one last time just to prove he's got it. This is actually not the most fictional story, believe it or not. George Foreman, the real-life boxer, did something similar back in the day and fought in his 50s as well. It's really a fun, enjoyable film that takes the series back to its roots. It's a lot like the first movie and has pretty much every beat that movie has, but it's an enjoyable, light-hearted, and entertaining experience. But that is part of the reason why it ranks 6th. There's not a whole lot new here, but it is an enjoyable if not formulaic, return to form that was pretty much needed after Rocky V. Which leads me to number five, and maybe a bit controversially, 1985's Rocky IV. Rocky IV is an awesome movie 
that has Rocky going up against Ivan Drago, a Russian boxer, in an attempt to avenge a friend of his. I won't give it away if you haven't seen the movie, but it's really enjoyable. It has powerhouse soundtrack, almost like 75% music video. A lot of montages, a lot of music, a lot of fun. Kind of a weird poster if you think about it. Yeah, but an enjoyable, enjoyable experience that's probably, might be the most entertaining Rocky movie, but it's also kind of a relic of its time. A director's cut was actually released this year that's actually very enjoyable, called Rocky IV, Rocky vs. Drago, and I actually recommend that version a little bit more than this one, but this one's still a bona fide classic. Which leads me to number four, 2018's Creed Two. This film is fun. This is everything I wanted Creed One to be. This film has Adonis fighting a Russian boxer. It seems very similar to another movie, doesn't it? And defending his championship against this newcomer. He has put himself in against all odds while trying to raise a family and step out of his father's shadow and become champion that everyone knows he can be. An entertaining and awesome film. This is everything I want to create one to be. This film stands on its own. It's unique. It's amazing. It has a great soundtrack. I'm not usually a big fan of rap. I don't really care too much for that kind of music. But these rap soundtracks are pretty damn good. And they mix it with the old Rocky themes. And you get something interesting and fun. A really awesome and amazing film. And one that I highly recommend. And was actually surprising how good this film was. Which leads me to number three, Rocky Three. Released in 1982, this film shows Rocky defending the championship from newcomer and badass Clubber Lang, played by Mr. T. This is an entertaining film. It has really good fights. There's actually more than one fight in the movie. There's even a montage of Rocky having a whole bunch of fights. And it has my favorite final fight of any Rocky movie with Clubber Lang and Rocky duking it out for the championship. And I love it. There, You cannot go wrong Rocky Three. And this was a really surprising film when I first watched it. I was like, wow, this is one of the best. Absolutely love 1982's Rocky Three, Which leads me to number two. 1979's Rocky 2. This film, the reason I love it so much, it's kind of just more Rocky 1. Rocky 1 is great, and this film is basically just more of that. I know some people may think that's kind of a lazy reason for me to put it at number 2, but I can't explain it. It's like an epilogue to the first Rocky movie, and I love that. Essentially taking place, well, more or less a year after the first film, it shows Rocky going up against Apollo Creed again. In an attempt to win the championship, it has him going through struggles. His kid's about to be born, you know, Adrian's in a coma. He's training hard. The comedy's good. The action's good. The fight's even better than the first movie. It's just my favorite of the Rocky sequels. Which leads me to number one, and probably unsurprisingly, 1976's Academy Award winning Best Picture film, Rocky. This film is phenomenal it has everything you'd want in an amazing drama great characters great performances it's about an underdog named rocky balboa who's given a shot by apollo creed for the heavyweight championship of the world he takes a shot and proves to everyone that he's not just another bum from the dark or another nobody from philly but he is a champion this film has amazing drama, great writing by Stallone, also directing by John G. Alvinson. And the best part about the film is it's a love story between Rocky Balboa and Adrian. And that's the best part of the movie. The boxing is kind of an afterthought. It comes at the end, it's great, it's fun, it's enjoyable. But you're really watching it for him and her. And ultimately, that's what the film's about. It's about their relationship and them overcoming adversity for the love for each other and it's a great film i highly enjoy it if you haven't seen rocky what are you doing with your life go watch it it's one of the best films ever made a perfect 10 out of 10 
this film is great. That's my ranking. If you're a fan of boxing or just good drama, Rocky is the franchise for you. It is one of my absolute favorites out there. And you can't go wrong with the Italian stallion, Rocky Balboa. Thanks for watching my video. Leave your list down below if you'd like. Let me know if you enjoyed the film. And peace out.